What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's motherfucking moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsboo.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my gods. Let's see what's going down for uh, Friday to Saturday up in this motherfucker. We're going to find out what's up. I'm going to be using today the um, doors. I think this is open door tarot or some shit. I forgot what it was called. I've had this deck for so long. I don't even know where the damn box is. But anyway, we're going to find out what's going down Friday to Saturday. So get your ass ready at the very end. I will be doing my elemental read, baby. I wanted to start out very, very fresh without having any cards. Uh, but I did have some Oracle cards that were out. Um, so I'm already getting. Some of you guys could be dealing with things that are surrounding with beauty uh, around you. This could be roses, rose petals. This could be herbs. This could be that effervescence around you that you're wanting to have this beautiful look. Um of harmony okay um but there also could be something that you might have to forgive or some things that you might have to change up so there could be some changes that are around let's see what's going down with my romance angels okay we got you deserve love coming out you are lovable so somebody needs to get a message out there okay this could be a private message this could be a photo of some sort. Look at that arrow, okay? But it's something that's very direct. So I'm getting some of you guys might feel alone or might feel like you deserve something a little bit more different, okay? But you have red. So the color red could be very important for some of you guys. I do definitely feel like somebody has um, something to relate to or there is some sort of correlation to roses or flowers. I'm also seeing apples as well. So for some of you guys, this could be wisdom. You know that apples mean some sort of wisdom. But I'm definitely seeing that um, for some of you guys, there is like this uh, vibe or this feeling of wanting to change things up. Very direct type of energy. I feel like there's either messages, some sort of information that could be coming your way. But it's saying you're lovable. So we got it's safe for you to love as well. So for some of you guys, it could be that there is something out there you need to extend yourself on that higher energy, okay? Having a little bit more time to prep for certain things in love. But I'm also seeing that some of you guys have to free yourself as well, okay? So it's time to take back control of your life. You might be having to forgive someone. I'm also seeing religious factors. So there could be some differences or some deception that might be coming out. So let's see what else we got. Because there might be some cultural differences between you and your person or your partner got reconciliation so you got the decepticon and reconciliation coming up so there could be a, a reconnection with an ex somebody uh that could be from the future as well too okay but it's saying to trust the situation all right now let's see what's popping for some of you guys we're gonna get the tarot down the doors What's the overall energies that they need to know about in love? I feel some of you guys know that there might be something that's coming to an end, okay? You have the temperance energy. I feel somebody's trying to get into a new vibe, okay? Somebody is 
dealing with possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got the temperance energy here as well with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing that there could be somebody who's trying to come in slowly. Okay, they might be dreading a new start. Or you might be dreading an end, one of the two. But I feel like for some of you guys, there is this Ace of Cups that's here. Okay, so there is some love. You also have the death energy. So somebody who's coming towards you, this could be a reconciliation where somebody's trying to open up a new door, okay, or something you felt was solidly confirmed that it was probably an end or somebody definitely did some foul shit or there could have been just an ending altogether. It doesn't have to be necessarily something negative. But I'm getting with the Ace of Cups here. There's somebody who wants to come in with love. Okay, they might come storming in. This person might be watching you as well too. Somebody is definitely being spied on. Look at this motherfucker. Okay, I'm going to clarify that. You got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck as well. And the ace of wands. Definitely a lot of sexual energy here. So, baby. Ace of wands. Wow. Somebody who seems like they're really desperate to try to get in or they're passionate about getting in too. This definitely could be a sexual vibe, honey. Okay, this could be somebody from your past that's trying to make some sort of connection. They might be bringing a present or it could be their presentation. But I feel like this person has to watch and spy on your ass. There could have been some sort of end here. I'm seeing this person is looking at you through the door, baby. But with this Ace of Cups, it could be a new beginning that's coming in. It could be a birthing of a child. Doesn't necessarily have to be a child, but something that's new coming into the world. So, a lot of you guys have some new sexual energy here. Oh, my goodness. Page of, page of Swords. They're watching your every move, honey. This could be online as well, too. Oh, shit. That could be why it's time to forgive. Okay. Or there could be somebody who's coming in. They know you lovable. And this motherfucker knows good and goddamn well they done fucked up a few times. Because you got villain here. But they're also wanting to start over as well. But Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, somebody is wanting to watch you. Confirming that I feel like there was something that was haunting them with the Eight of Swords here. It could have been the thoughts that were in their mind or something that was definitely permanent. This could be a, a tattoo that this person has. I love when I pull out this deck. There definitely could be some sort of tattoo of some sort that somebody has that could be very distinct to you. But I'm seeing that they're wanting to come in with some love. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. So, very interesting. A lot of spying happening. There could be a situation in the past where there was divine that came in and cut some shit off. Okay, some of you guys are moving forward, but this person can't move ahead without you. you got this chariot energy. Could be Kansadian as well. I feel like somebody's been turning down some offers or they definitely have been. Now, some for some of you guys, it could be that you ain't had no sex in a long time. But don't tell nobody, okay? And also, for some of you guys, it could be that it's time to get down on the boogie, okay? Somebody could be dealing with somebody who's very impressive, has a nice body as well, too. But this is definitely justice coming in. But with that page of swords, I want to clarify that. And then we're going to see what's new. You got the two of wands here. So some of you guys could be, somebody could be watching a situation. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, they might be having their foot in the next door. Okay. You got the devil in this motherfucker. Look at these motherfuckers is in this, um, is in this protection. Okay. Now some of you guys might be feeling like you facing against some demons or this could be some real lower level shit. These motherfuckers is naked, okay? But you got the devil, okay? El Diablo. Okay. <laughs> so, Page of Swords, there could be somebody who's obsessed. This could be somebody who's watching you online, watching your pictures. I mean, they're in their head. It could be an ex of an ex past, all right? But... I'm definitely picking up somebody's obsessed. It could be sexually as well. Devil energy here. It could be about somebody, um, you know, some things that could be haunting you in the past or dealing with this person that you dealt with. But with this devil here, there is definitely a major connection that somebody is holding on tough. 
So let's get this elemental read popping up in this bitch because somebody is wanting to come back, okay, and return to you. Here we go. So we're going to start out with the fire signs. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I'm going to get this other deck. I'm going to get my deck. Let me put this shit away. Definitely a lot of sexual energy. This could be some shit that's happening at nighttime, during the daytime. Okay, somebody's got their legs up in the air. Okay, so somebody might be rolling up fire signs. Might be time to roll up fire signs. Let's see about cross watchers. Some of you guys might be dealing with a narcissist. If you've been dealing with somebody from the past, but some of y'all need to roll up. Could be rolling some weed up. Making cookies and shit with it. I did just see haters. We got two cards coming out by your sign. So here we go. We got haters and move. So somebody could be on the move towards you or you could be on the move towards something a little bit better. You got haters up in this motherfucker fire sign. So in the next few days, I'm seeing this could be about a side piece or somebody's hating on you because you ain't nobody's side piece. Or you could be, I don't know, whatever the case may be. There might be a vibe, okay, or somebody needs to sit their motherfucking ass down, especially if they feel they, they need to make some sort of moves for my fire sign. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It says it's you, not them. So you might be that person who might need to have a reality check or might need to sit down because ain't nobody going to be, you know, trying to extend their energy. So a lot of you guys might be needing to think about the past, the future and the present. OK, because you're talented. So there could be somebody who's extremely talented, could be haters that's watching you fire signs. I'm also seeing some of y'all need to eat some motherfucking food. All right. <sighs> so. Fire signs. Very interesting. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Let's see about my water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Here we go. For a Friday to Saturday up in this bitch. Saturday evening. We've got source here. So there's some information or there is definitely something. Whatever it is that you believe in God, Jehovah, Buddha. Okay, trees. I don't know what you believe in, baby. Sorcery. I don't know. It's just saying that there's something here that you're very aware of. You're using your intuition or your intuition is going to guide you. Now, I did just see new flip out. So you got new here. Yeah. So water signs, you might be dealing with something new. This might be a new phase, a new cycle. Some of you guys might be getting some signals or some or some information that's going to understand. You're going to understand if you're going to move forward with this situation. Now, some of you guys definitely have some haters or there's a phone call that you might be receiving over the next couple of days. It could be about a hater or it could be from a hater, whatever the case may be. You already know it's going to be some information because you got reality check and somebody's hiding the truth. Okay, now this could be a little dusty ass motherfucker. That's what I'm seeing. Now, you got talent and laugh here. So there's something you're going to be laughing with. You might be trying to pull a shy side out of somebody, but I'm definitely feeling like it's time to be extra because shit's about to get real and you're going to get some information. Either somebody's going to try to fix this situation, okay, or somebody's mama is coming in. This could be somebody that might have some issues with transportation or their timing as well for some of you guys. Um, I'm also getting um, a lot of growth and determination as well. It could be with an X as well. Water signs. Very interesting, but definitely a lot of... Um, a lot of internal and external um, information and downloads coming to you or coming to your phone, okay, or email. <laughs> Let's see about my air signs. Here we go. Air signs. Next couple of days, you got fight and source. Okay, so there could be some sort of fight or some narcissistic energy that you're not willing to put up with this energy for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You also got pop it. Some of y'all need to turn the music up and start dancing up in this motherfucker. All right. But I definitely feel like it's time to make it pop. Now, side piece and haters keep coming out and damn near everybody's reading. So some of y'all might be dealing with the side piece or there could be just some haters all together that might be watching and spying on you doing negative ass, lower vibrational shit straight like that. You got hustle up in this motherfucker. So some of you guys are just going to be all about your motherfucking coin and all about your money. Okay. Y'all hear that? that coin so <laughs> i do see some of you uh water signs or air signs could be definitely dealing with um somebody's mama 
Um, and it could be a desperate energy. Okay, this is what the devil's talking about. So y'all be careful of whatever uh, side that you, you know, outweigh air signs. So let's see about my earth signs up in this bitch. We got crying. Wow, somebody's crying and sit your ass down. Lovers and friends. Somebody might be trying to figure out whether they're dealing with somebody that they want to fuck with. You know, you might be crying over your ex or figuring out if it's a lover or friend or figuring it out. Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm seeing some truth come out with this moon here in reverse. All right, this could be a mystery that's unveiled or some sort of truth that's unveiled. You got vibe here and mental health. So I see some of you guys are getting your vibe on. This could be, you know, that you might need to be, some of you guys might be thinking about nutrition or food or something like that, but I definitely feel like there could be somebody who needs to get some help <clears throat> or there's something you're going to have to fix or somebody's going to have to get some help to fix something, okay? Especially if somebody's hiding the truth, hiding their emotions, but it's saying to pop that motherfucker. So earth signs, there could be something you might need to get out and exercise your right to change it up, change up the energy, or there could be some changes that are happening overall, you guys. Um, I do feel like October is definitely going to make you feel a little bit more um, challenged, but I feel some of you guys are definitely up for it. Okay. All right, my loves. I hope that you all enjoyed this motherfucking reading. Some of y'all got some, um, some real obsessive, either obsessive people around you or somebody is spying on that ass, uh, putting taps on that ass, tabs on that ass, cameras on that ass, whatever the case may be. Like it is somebody who's watching your every desire, every need, every message, every something. Okay. Somebody's on, on it. And they want to sniff that ass. Okay. <laughs> All right, my loves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.